All right, guys, we're playing Draven top lane on today's video. We're playing Draven this time versus a Garen top. And for the runes, we now have Lethal Tempo, Prevescence. We got Bloodline, we have Cut the Grass, Treasure Hunter for Snowballing, and then we also got Eyeball. Now, this game, we are going for Draven top. This is actually uh, an interesting pick. I've seen a lot of people asking this in the past, like a long time ago. <laughs> so, it's going to be an enjoyable one. You know, went back when I uh, started the off meta YouTube channel, like about a year ago and a half. I remember like Draven Top were, is like one of the first thing I've done with a few others. Like Draven Top, um, believe it or not, it, it has been done by other people before in uh, in high elo, like people actually picking it. Now, of course, <laughs> it's not that many people, but I've actually used to face off Draven Top uh, a few times. Specifically, Draven, like, once you're explaining it, and then, like, popping off with it. So it would actually surprise you. Hmm. Okay. Well, that's fine. Yeah, we certainly taken a lot of damage, but I'm alright with it. Just gonna make sure I don't get comboed right now. Okay. Oh, well, good start. I'll show you why. Because we have the proper push. Okay, very good. I'll go back immediately. Let's see what he's going to do. Um, first things first, the uh, first item that we are going to buy, uh, we can go into like two directions. We can go into Collector. Um, but I think it would be a lot of fun if we either go Essence Reaver as a first item, um, or we go into this item as a first item. And I think that it's probably going to be this one because BT has sustain. So if I'm trading with Garen and I somehow take damage, somehow, um, there isn't going to be anything to worry about because then I'll just heal back. That's what I'm thinking. Wait. Okay. Yeah, he's uh he pushed that in completely. Smart one. I don't think I can reset it because I can walk away from the massive wave you have. They have a very weird jungler, by the way. They got Nar jungle. Very weird. Honestly, I've never seen Nar jungle before. And let's hold it. We have Shaco pathing top, which is a good thing. Oh. <laughs> Wave blocking me, thank you. Nice. So yeah, we're not running alacrity in the runes, which means no like extra attack speed from the runes. But the build will probably make up for it. It depends. Depends on our builds. But going attack speed is not a requirement necessarily in the early game so instead we just have a lot of lifesteal i don't typically go bloodline let's place that ward down there you go probably extend it so the trick with draven also is like you need to pay attention to your q you always pick it up but at the same time you gotta like watch the map as well right and uh, if you're never, if you've never played Javen before, it's actually quite hard to do. But trust me, if you uh, if you play the champ more, that problem will go away. He's actually coming from the corner. Hmm. Wait. I'll take that. Okay, and let's go. Hmm. Oh, I guess I'm going to die right now. Well, not bad at all. So I need my jungler to help me push this out, that's all. That's all I'm asking from him. Okay. And let's reset. Very good. So I had to ask my uh, my jungler for some help right there because obviously like the wave is like 
not in a good position where I can just leave it alone. I needed his help there a little bit. Uh, let's go for these. So one thing that matters a lot when you play Draven is positioning, right? Because Draven does not have any form of disengage or engage. The only engage you have is your E for CC and it's your W for movement speed, which can be used again if you pick up the axe. You don't have any form of dash. So if you're playing top lane, um, you need to build a lot of damage for your Q. But keep in mind, you also need movement speed. So going Berserker's Crease early in the game is a good thing. I would definitely encourage you. Keep that in mind if you play this. It's like top priority. Also make sure you get your two axes, not just one. Use them both. And then uh, if you keep them for long enough, you can get your next Q back as well. So you have like three axes, right? If you miss one, you can still pick up the other and uh, have more damage basically. So don't play with just one Q alone. It's very bad. We gotta be careful about Gnar right now. I feel like Gnar might be coming back here. I don't know. Okay. Yeah, I'm walking away from that. I don't want to walk into the brush necessarily. Um, you gonna walk that way? Are you sure about that? Okay. Yo, you walk away from that. Go proc your passive, dude. I'm okay here. I'll just wait. I've got enough mana. I uh, don't need to buy uh, any uh, any items. Good to go. And now we just wait. He'll have to come back soon. Wait. I just need to auto attack once because the Q is going away. Um, seriously, a good tip for people playing Draven. You need to keep your eyeballs onto your Q so you can see when it expires. So you don't accidentally like lose it when you're farming. So if it's about to expire, you drop the auto attack down. This way you can just maintain it. And Oh, so he still got the cannon after all. Okay. Yeah, we have a ton of damage. It's not looking very good for Garen. The BF Sword's helping me a lot. For sure. Let's see, we have almost doubled the farm so far. Looking good. And let's walk back. Alright, let's keep holding. Yeah, looking good, man. Looking good. We have a lot more farm than Garen does. Uh, I might not be able to do anything here. Nope. I don't. However, I can... I can basically keep him away from being able to farm right now. So I did waste my ghost away. However, we can actually freeze the wave, so it's not that bad. We still can't farm. An ally has been slain. And let's keep holding. Too bad he needs Narf for help. Aha! He lost it. Straight up. <laughs> the wave is still pushing into me, that's the best part. There you go, I lost one of my Qs. Oh, I lost another one of my Qs. And that's why that's why stacking Qs matter. Because if you mess up once, it's okay. You don't you, you don't have to, you know, collect all your axes. Just be consistent. If you miss one axe, it's okay. Like it's nothing to worry about. So that's the best advice I can give. You don't have to be the 10 out of 10 Draven player to get all axes. That's unrealistic. Um, just make sure you get like 90% of them. 
so that if you miss one somehow due to like the wave blocking you or something like that uh you can just press q again and you have both of them back that's the, the that's the thing that i would advise the most see simple very simple Um, I don't think. An ally has been oh, I'm on my way. An enemy has been if that helps. Okay. Ah, man. The Garen actually got a shutdown against me. Okay, no problem. We have a 2,500 gold. So we can buy this one, we can buy this one. We have lifesteal now, so we can infinitely auto him. And let's go for a blue trinket, that'll definitely help. Look at my passive. I love this about Draven so much, man. Look at my passive. Total gold earned, 732. Highest reward, 415. I love that about Draven. If you're, if you're doing well in lane, and you're able to use the passive, utilize the passive for snowballing, you can get such a massive lead against your opponent. It's actually kind of ridiculous. You're playing Draven for the early game. And then uh, if you win the early game, you transition to the late game like a, like a raid boss. That's one of the best things about Draven. That's one of the things that I like so much. Hmm, hold up. Okay. I think I'm just gonna shove this out. Oh, it seems like he backed off in time. Maybe we can stop him from uh, making it back. We can't kill him again for sure. He will come back. Yep. Thank you very much. And let's grab the wave once again. Oh man, I love junglers like this, man. My jungler was nearby, he was about to walk away, so I ping... I just ping my jungler to stay, because Garen will come back and he'll try and fight me, and that's how we beat him. Super simple. And now we go back. We got another one for free. Yo, let's take that, man. Wait, so what's going on over here? Mm. Got some potions still. That helps. Man, I have 3,000 gold already. We've got... Look at our passive. Look at our passive. Look how much this is. Do you guys even realize how much this is in the early game? That's just crazy. 1,000, man. That's just insane. Tell me whatever you want, bro. But that's not normal. This is why Draven players always go 10 and 0 or 0 and 10. Like, it's either it's either they int in the game or they get like 10 and 0 and they just dominate the rest of the game. It's so ridiculous. Like, look at the difference, man. This guy doesn't even have a first item yet. I'm already on my secondary item in a second. <laughs> I'm gonna be a millionaire at the end of this game. I'm not even kidding. Like, the Draven passive just, just makes me rich in this game. Let's farm up again. Get it ready.
Nice. Uh, we can buy Infinity Edge at 16 minutes in the game. Let's go, man. <laughs> Soon enough, we're unkillable. Alright, I'm backing. Well, before I truly back, hold on. I think I might get this whole thing because he's roaming. I might. Yeah, I got it. I got sustained, so it doesn't matter if I take that much. Okay. Yeah, stand back. Already have Infinity Edge. We have 1,700 already. Because we got, like, extra gold from the tier 2. Um, the next item that we go for, I think it's going to be long-range auto attack. So I'm actually going to go into this one. And this one. We need those long-range auto attacks right now. That would be amazing, dude. If we can, like, uh, hit a Q from a mile away, that would be awesome. Wait, I'm just gonna run mid. There you go. I'm gonna proc my passive again as soon as I can. We can, in theory, try and kill the Lux, trying to dive her with, like, two Qs, because I'm pretty sure that if I hit, like, two Qs, that she's probably dead already. Um, but maybe I can proc my passive on Garen, because Garen is, like, ultra tilted in the game, right? I'll give it a try. If we can find him somehow. Okay, let's get that secondary Q ready. Look at my damage. Already. We're doing 800 per auto attack, guys. Per auto. Remember that. Ooh, there he is. Will I catch him? Nah. He's actually very tanky. Wait, where's that armor? Hold up. Hold up here. He doesn't have any armor. Okay, I bet I'm doing a lot more damage on Lux here. Wait a second. You probably my passive. Another one. Let's go, dude. Again, 1,800 gold. We're living through gold. Amazing. And we have another item. We have this one right now. 19 minutes in the game and we already have the third item. Let's go. <clears throat> okay, let's go. Let's swap these around. And let's go back top lane. We're just going to face off Garen once again. So I would, I would suggest, like, if you want to play Draven top lane, uh, you should definitely pick him when your opponent has no type of, like, dash. That's when I would advise Draven the most. So, like, you can play Draven into champions like uh, Fiora, Riffin, like, all that stuff. You can definitely do that. It's You can probably make it work, but if... Um, if you want the best matchup for Draven top lane, I would suggest champions that have no mobility. Like Garen, for example. Garen has no mobility. He only has Q for mobility. He's very predictable. And there's a bunch of other champions that are exactly the same. Where you can, you know, where you can put Draven into. So be aware about those matchups. If you want to make it work the most, you know, efficiently. In the best way possible. You know, that's what I would advise. I want to see if I can hit a Q on somebody. Anyone? Legendary. I'm trying hitting Lux, maybe. Okay. Got another tower. Hmm. 
Well, well, well. <laughs> Great. Hold up. Skarnas going in. Yeah, I think I prefer walking away from that rather than just going in. I will take like one jungle camp though. Got it. Okay. Uh, and we need to quickly grab the next item. I'm thinking of going for Lord Dominic so we can prepare for the late game. Man, I love playing Draven when you when you have this item because you, your your Q it it just flies from a mile away and it makes Draven you know playing Draven a lot easier. You kind of um, as weird as it sounds, like the second that you buy this item as a third item, you kind of become an assassin because of the range. Oh, okay. No problem, I'll heal back. Whoops. I think I might have to run top lane real quick because Garen is like wrecking top lane. Again, we have 1,100 gold. My passive is straight up, like, helping me out. And I need, like, uh, 300 more, and then I'll have my four items. Yeah, we have my fourth item now. Let's go back once again. Four items at 24 minutes. Let's go. I'm glad I'm not dying once because my teammates are actually starting to die a lot more now. Last thing you want is your uh, is, is dying like when you're like uh, like a thousand gold. Okay, there's surrender. GG. Yo, this is Draven top lane. Thanks so much for watching today's Draven video, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.